All right, so we're taking a look at the certificate format. So here is the certificate information for the Xampro.co uh, certificate that we used for uh, HTTPS for the in, uh, data in transit to make sure that our information is secure. And if you open it up, you can see there's a bunch of metadata. And so let's talk about what's in here. So we have the version number. The version number is uh, you know indicating that it's an X509 standard. Notice here it says three, so we're using version three. Uh, we have a serial number, a unique uh, serial number assigned to the certificate by the certificate authority. So it's this big long thing here. We have the certificate algorithm ID used to sign the certificate. Uh, you know, it could be RSA, DSA. In this case, it is suggesting that it is RSA two fifty uh, with SHA fifty SHA two fifty six with RSA. The issuer, so the name of the certificate authority that issued uh, the, issued the certificate to. So that's the issuer name up here. Um, but this one is saying organization, Amazon, things like that. So it doesn't say my name might be down below here somewhere. Uh, yeah, I don't see my name in here, but you know, there's something here, uh, validity period. So how long is this certificate going to be valid for the start and end date, the subject? Ah, uh, yeah, that's what we want. The issuer would be Amazon because that's who it is. I guess I was looking for the subject. So the subject is who it is to be issued to. So that's where we'd want to see exam pro, but it gets cut off here, so we just can't see it. Uh, the subject public key, so the public key that is meant um, to be authenticated by the certificate. So this field is also named, uh, also names the algorithm used for the public key generation. Then we have other fields like issue unique identifier, subject unique identifier, extensions, which allow you to associate private information to a certificate. Uh, but the clear thing to understand is that all this metadata is publicly readable, so anyone can generally view it. That's uh, the purpose of that is so that we can have the means to validate the authenticity of these certificates. So let's just talk about some things that can package along with the certificate so that there are ways of uh, um, uh, validating it. So we have this metadata, and this metadata gets produced in a hash. A hash is um, a means of taking a bunch of information and basically uh, turning it into a, a thing that looks like a bunch of random characters, but it actually is a fingerprint because uh, that hash, if you take the same information, it'll always produce the exact same hash. So it is a fingerprint to identify the information. So, you know, uh, that's that there. The ha uh, that hash or fingerprint is going to then get signed with the private key, the private key that is generated by the um, certificate authority. And that way it guarantees the authenticity of that fingerprint. Um, and then the idea is that when you are signing, uh, when you are signing uh, that hash, uh, it's basically creating a signature. Okay, so that's that authenticity. When you sign it, you know it's valid. So the certificate metadata, the signature, and then the public key uh, provided by the uh, the end user is is packaged there. And with all that information, we have enough information in order to validate the authenticity of the certificate. Okay.